Lesson 11. What day is it? Hello students, how are you today? Today we have a new assistant. Lisa is in Germany. Today we have Susan. Susan is from Malaysia. Susan, welcome to English for You. Thank you. Susan, this is Ali. Hi Susan. Nice to meet you Ali. And this is Isabel. Nice to meet you Susan. Nice to meet you Isabel. Isabel is from France and Ali is from Turkey. We'll work very hard together. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Now, today we're going to talk about dates. We're going to talk about the days of the week first. Days of the week. All right. So, days of the week. All right. There are seven days in one week. Now, here they are. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay? So, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are weekdays. Weekdays. Saturday, Sunday are the weekend. Okay? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are the weekdays. Saturday, Sunday or the weekend. Alright? Now, uh, we can write these in a short way and let me show you how to do this. It's very easy. You take off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. All right, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, so again, these are the weekdays, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and the weekend, Saturday, Sunday. Now, when we talk about days, we say on the day. For example, we can say on Monday. On Monday. Or on Saturday. On Monday. On Saturday. Alright? So for example, our classes are on Monday. Our classes are on Monday. Or we go to the cinema on Saturday. We go to the cinema on Saturday. Our classes are on Monday. We go to the cinema on Saturday. Now, another one with the days is every is one, there's two. We can say every Monday. Every Monday. Uh, or we can say Mondays. Mondays. This is the same. Okay? However, so with every, there is no on, but here there is. So every Monday, on Mondays. So notice that we can also say 
every Monday or Mondays. It means every Monday or usually on Monday. With every, we don't use on. All right, let's practice. Susan, when do you work? I work on every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, Thursday, and Friday. Okay, no on. I work every Monday. Okay, you say it. I work every Monday. Okay, good. Do you work on weekends? No, I don't. All right. Ali, when do you go to football games? I go to football games on Fridays. Ah, do you go every Friday? No, I don't. All right. Isabel, when do you go to the cinema? I usually go on Saturday. Do you go every Saturday? No, I don't. Susan, do you eat breakfast on Sundays? Yes, I do. All right. And Ali, do you get up early on Sundays? No, I don't. I get up late on Sundays. Mm, lucky. Isabel, do you go to bed late on Fridays? Sometimes. All right. Thank you very much. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. We go to the cinema every Friday. They get up late on Sunday. He goes to bed early on Monday. I don't eat breakfast on Tuesdays. She goes to work on Wednesday. Read and repeat. All right, now we're going to do the months of the year. Months of the year. Now, you know there are 12 months. We'll write it long and short. So first we have January. January. This is the short one. February. February. March. March. April. April. May. Easy. May. June. June, July, July, August, August, September, September, October, October. November, November, and December, December. Okay, now let's look at these again. January, February, March, April, May, June. July, August, September, October, November, December. All right. Now, 
When we use the months, it's a little bit different. We use in. In. We, so let me give you some examples here. We say, for example, in April, in June, in September. Okay? So we can say in April, in June, in September. All right. Now, let's practice. Let me ask you about your birthdays. Isabel, when is your birthday? My birthday is in May. Aha. Uh -huh. Susan, when is your birthday? My birthday is in September. Ali, when is your birthday? It's in May. Teacher, when is your birthday? It's in October. All right. Thank you very much. Months. Ordinal numbers. Now, we're going to talk about different kinds of numbers that we use for the order of things and for dates. This is important. Different kinds of numbers. We use these for the order of things and we use them for dates. All right, here we go. First, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. All right, now we're going to do another group of ten. We have Eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eight. Eighteenth, nineteenth, and twentieth. Twentieth. All right, again, now, no, all, right? Eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth. 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th. See how it changed. Now, for these kinds of numbers, here we go. We have 21st, 22nd, Twenty third, twenty fourth, twenty fifth, twenty sixth, twenty seventh, twenty. Eighth, twenty ninth, and third, 
30th, 30th, and 31st. Okay? 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. So again, let's say these again. 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th. Now we'll go to the teens. 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th. And now into the last group, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. Okay, now we have the days for every day of the month. Now, let's take these away. And remember that when we talked about days, we talked about on a day. So we're going to practice. We said on a day. We, For example, on Monday or on Tuesday. Okay? So we do the same thing for a specific date. So for example, my birthday is on October 3rd. My birthday is on October 3rd. Okay? It's a three. Your birthday is on November 5th. Your birthday is on November 5th. Okay, again, my birthday is on October 3rd. Your birthday is on November 5th. Okay? Now, I'm going to ask you about your birthdays again. And let's start with Susan. Susan, when is your birthday? My birthday is on September 10th. All right. Uh, Susan, ask Isabel. Isabel, when is your birthday? My birthday is on May 26th. All right. Isabel, ask Ali. Ali, when is your birthday? My birthday is on May 8th. Good. Good. Ali, ask me. Teacher, when is your birthday? My birthday is on October 3rd. Ali, when is Isabel's birthday? Her birthday is on May 26th. Isabel, when is Ali's birthday? It is on May 8th. And Susan, when is my birthday? Your birthday is on October 3rd. Yes, very good. Thank you all. Names of Days Now, here are some more names of days. Today, today, tomorrow, tomorrow, and yesterday. Yesterday, today, tomorrow, yesterday. All right, here's some examples. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. 
Yesterday was Sunday. Yesterday was Sunday. And tomorrow is Tuesday. Today is Monday. Yesterday was Sunday. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Now, here is a new question for you. And then we're going to look at a calendar. So, here's the question. What day of the week is... What day of the week is... mm -mm. All right, now let's look at the calendar on the monitor. And let's start with Isabel. Isabel, what day of the week is today? It is Tuesday. And Ali, what day of the week is tomorrow? It is Wednesday. Susan, yesterday? Monday. And Susan, what day is November 30th on? It is on Sunday. Ali, November 11th? It's on Tuesday. That's my son's birthday. It's very important. And Isabel, what day is November 19th on? It is on Wednesday. Very good. Thank you. Now, we can talk about complete dates in two ways. Here's one. Monday June 24th, 1999. Okay, this is one way. Monday, June 24th, 1999. Comma, comma. Or, Monday, 24th, June, 1999. Monday, 24th, June, 1999. Okay, again. Monday, June 24th, 1999. Or, Monday, 24th June, 1999. This one is usually used in North America. Now, let's practice a little bit more. I want you to look at the years and how we say the year in English. Okay, now here's one. 1999 sounds like 1999. Okay, 1999. Another example, 1980. 1980. 1980. And Another example, 1925, 1925, 1925. This is how it sounds. All right. Now, here is a new question. Here is a new question. What is the date today? What is the date today? So let's practice. Ali, what is the date today? It is March 5th. Now, tell me the complete date. It's Wednesday, March 5th, 2003. All right. Isabel, what is the date tomorrow? It is Thursday, March 6th, 2003. Mm hmm. Good. And Susan, yesterday? Tuesday, March 4th, 2003. All right, very good. Now, we're going to ask about birthdays in a different way. And here is the question. When is your birthday? When is your birthday? My birthday is on 
October 3rd. When is your birthday? My birthday is on October 3rd. Now, let's practice some more. Susan, when is your birthday? My birthday is on September 10th. All right, now you ask Ali. Ali, when is your birthday? It's on 8th May. Ali, ask Isabel. Isabel, when is your birthday? My birthday is in May. Which day? It's on May 26th. Great, thank you very much. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. When is your birthday? It is on January 1st. When is her birthday? It is on June 24th. When is his birthday? It is on September 9th. Read and repeat. Holidays. Now let's talk about some interesting days. There are interesting days in every culture. So here are some of them. First, Valentine's Day is on February 14th. Valentine's Day is on February 14th. St. Patrick's Day is on March 17th. St. Patrick's Day is on March 17th. Mother's Day is the first Sunday in May. Mother's Day is the first Sunday in May. Father's Day is the second Sunday in June. Father's Day is the second Sunday in June. Canada's birthday is on July 1st. Canada's birthday is on July 1st. In the U.S., Independence Day is on July 4th. In the U.S., Independence Day is on July 4th. Labor Day is the first Monday in September. Labor Day is the first Monday in September. Halloween is on October 31st. Halloween is on October 31st. In the U.S., 
Thanksgiving is on the fourth Thursday of November. In the U.S., Thanksgiving is on the fourth Thursday of November. And finally, Christmas is on December 25th. Christmas is on December 25th. So again, Valentine's Day is on February 14th. St. Patrick's Day is on March 17th. Mother's Day is the first Sunday in May. Father's Day is the second Sunday in June. Canada's birthday is on July 4th, uh, 1st. In the U.S., Independence Day is on July 4th. Labor Day is the first Monday in September. Halloween is on October 31st. In the U.S., Thanksgiving is on the fourth Thursday of November. And Christmas is on December 25th. Now, let's find some information from our assistants and find out about holidays in your country. So, Isabel, what are some holidays in your country? Bastille Day. And when is it? It's on July 14th. Ali? Youth Day is on May 19th. Children's Day is on April 23rd. Victor Day is on August 30th. All right, and Susan? August 31st is National Day in Malaysia. All right, very interesting. Thank you all. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. Christmas is on December 25th. Children's Day is on April 23rd. Valentine's Day is on February 14th. My birthday is on November 1st. Read and repeat. Now, we're going to work on pronunciation. We learned new numbers today with th, so we're going to practice. All right? Now, this is how you make the sound. You put your tongue between your teeth and blow. It feels strange, but you can do it. Okay, now, here are some words to practice. Here we go. Math, math, path, path, bath, bath, both, both, south, South, North, North, and Fifth, Fifth. All right, now again, Math, Path, Bath, Both, South, North, Fifth. Okay, now we're going to practice some word pairs. And let's do a different uh, 
group of words. Some of these are the same. Math, path, bath. Okay. Let's add some to this group. We have math, path, bath, both, tenth, tenth, fourth, fourth, and eighth. Eighth. So again, math, path, bath, both, tenth, fourth, eighth. All right? Okay, now here's another group. Matt, Pat, Bat, Boat, Tent, Fort, Eight, Matt, Pat, Bat, Boat, Tent, Fort, Eight. Okay, now let's go across and you can hear the sounds. Notice that your mouth is open and here it's t, your mouth is closed. All right, here we go. Math, Matt, Path, Pat, Bath, Bat, Both, Boat, Tenth, Tent, Fourth, Fort, Eighth, Eight. Now, you can practice these at home. Put a mirror in front and you can see your mouth. For example, Mass, Matt. Okay? All right. Review. All right. Let's do some review. All right, assistants. Ali, let's start with you. When is Victory Day in Turkey? It's on August 30th. All right. And when is your birthday? It's on May 8th. Susan, when is Christmas? It is on December 25th. And when is your birthday? It is in September. What day? It is on September 10th. And Isabel, when is Bastille Day? It's on July 14th. When is your birthday? It's on May 26th. Now, Isabel, you ask me a question. When is your birthday? My birthday is in October. When? It's on October 3rd. Now, Susan? When is Canada's birthday? It is on July 1st. Okay, now Ali. When is your father's birthday? It is in November. When? It's on November 19th. All right, thank you very much. Good job today. Now it's time to listen and write. Listen and write. Now listen and write these words. Number one. Tenth. Tenth. Number two. Wednesday. Wednesday. Number three. November. November. Number four. Eighth. Eighth. Number five. Today. Today. Now, check your work. Number one. Tenth. Number two. Wednesday. Number three. November. Number four. Eighth. Number five. Today. 
Now, listen and write these sentences. Number one. Ali's birthday is on May 8th. Ali's birthday is on May 8th. Number two. Today is Thursday, January 20th, 1995. Today is Thursday, January 20th, 1995. Number three. Tomorrow is Sunday, June 8th, 1999. Tomorrow is Sunday, June 8th, 1999. Number four. We go to the cinema on Saturdays. We go to the cinema on Saturdays. Number five. Lisa and Marie study English every Monday. Lisa and Marie study English every Monday. Now, check your work. Number one. Ali's birthday is on June 8th. Number two. Today is Thursday, January 20th, 1995. Number three. Tomorrow is Sunday, June 8th, 1999. Number four, we go to the cinema on Saturdays. Number five, Lisa and Marie study English every Monday. Now, read the story and answer the questions about it. Read and answer. John is from Canada. He is 25 years old. He lives in Toronto. He is an accountant. He works in an office. He is tall and good looking. He is not married. His birthday is on December 3rd. He speaks English and French. He goes to his family every December 25th for Christmas. On Mother's Day, he visits his mother. On Father's Day, he visits his father. He is a good son. Now, listen to the questions and write the answer. Number one. How old is John? How old is John? Number two. Where does he live? Where does he live? Number three. What does he look like? What does he look like? Number four. What does he do? What does he do? Number five. Where does he work? Where does he work? Number six. When is his birthday? When is his birthday? Number seven. Does he speak French? Does he speak French? Number eight, does he visit his family on Christmas Day? Does he visit 
his family on Christmas Day? Number nine. Who does he visit on Mother's Day? Who does he visit on Mother's Day? Number 10. Who does he visit on Father's Day? Who does he visit on Father's Day? Now, check your work. Number 1. How old is John? John is 25 years old. Number two, where does he live? He lives in Toronto. Number three, what does he look like? He is tall and good looking. Number four, what does he do? He is an accountant. Number five, where does he work? He works in an office. Number six, when is his birthday? His birthday is on December 3rd. Number seven, does he speak French? Yes, he does. Number eight, does he visit his family on Christmas Day? Yes, he does. Number nine. Who does he visit on Mother's Day? He visits his mother. Number ten. Who does he visit on Father's Day? He visits his father. Very good. We'll see you next time. Practicing English. Okay, Alexei has been in Istanbul for only a few weeks, and what have we shown him of our city? Well, we've shown him a few places, but I think we should show him something special this week while the weather is nice. What shall we do? I know. Well, let's take him on a boat ride on the Bosphorus. That's a great idea. What day shall we go? How is Thursday? No, I have basketball practice on Thursdays. Yeah, I have a language club meeting then. Are you free on the weekend? Uh, Saturday is good for me. Uh, me too. Hmm. Alexi doesn't have any work on Saturday, and neither do I. So, let's go then. Wait, I can't go this Saturday. It's my sister's birthday, and we are having a party for her. Well, how about Sunday? What, what is the date on Sunday? Well, I don't have a calendar with me, but my sister's birthday is the 21st, and that is Saturday. So the Sunday would be the 22nd. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. I think we should book the seats for the boat. Jack, why don't you call them, man? See if they have four seats for Sunday. Okay, no problem. Uh, wait a minute, though. Here comes Alexi. Hi, everyone. Hi, Alexi. Hey. Where were you, Alexi? Oh, I just started being a math tutor after work. A math tutor? What does a math tutor do? Well, on the 5th, 10th, and 15th of this month, I will help students in my building with their math homework after school. Today was our first meeting. It's good that you're helping students like that. Well, I know that some people don't like math, but I enjoy math and computers a lot. They're interesting to me. Alexi, we have a question for you. Sunday is the 22nd of the month. Do you have any plans for that afternoon? N no, I don't think so. Why? Well, the boys and I would like you to see more of Istanbul. We are planning a little surprise for you on Sunday. We are going to take you for a boat cruise on the Bosphorus. Wow, that, that sounds exciting. Thank you. Well, we thought that you would like it. I went one time when I first came to Istanbul. That was two years ago, and I had a really good time. We will have fun, too. Uh-oh. 
What's wrong, Sam? I was looking at my calendar for the boat ride on Sunday, and it looks like it's going to be a holiday on Sunday. Oh no, that's right. I should call my mom. Did you forget it? Yes. Your mothers are not here. It must be hard on you. What do you do for the holidays here in Istanbul? For example, what do you do on Mother's Day? Well, most people buy their mothers a gift, a card, some flowers, or maybe they take them out to dinner. But we can only phone them. I send her a present every year, but this year I forgot. It was stupid of me. Don't worry, Jack. I'm sure she'll be very happy with the phone call too. What day is Mother's Day on again? Well, it is always on a Sunday. Hmm. I better get some ideas for this holiday. Do you think my mom will like flowers or a gift? Both of them sound good. What will you buy her? Um, maybe a nice candle, something that smells nice in the house. She likes those kind of things. Anyway, this weekend will be fun. A boat trip on the Bosphorus. It sounds great. I think we'll have a great weekend. That's good.